What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm taking you guys on another trip to the thrift but I'm also going to be telling you guys how I check the comps for sold listings on eBay and I say comps in all of my videos and I always get at least one comment where someone asks me what are comps so I'm going to just go into a little more detail on that but if you guys haven't already make sure that you guys hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you guys are interested in any of the consistency tees and the new colors make sure that you hit that first link in the description but without further ado let's get into it all right y'all first thrift of the day and i came across a couple of these cardinals jackets and anytime i see satin jackets i always gotta look them up because they're usually worth something and this one in particular is from uh i think this one just a starter jacket but it's from the diamond collection and this one should sell for right around 50 to 60 bucks they were only asking six for that one and then I thought this one was the exact same type of jacket, but still a satin jacket, just a different brand. This one is actually from Felco, which is more of like a vintage brand. And this one was selling for closer to like 30 to 40 bucks. Um, this one did have some flaws, so I'll probably get closer to 30 bucks for that jacket. But since it was only $6, I figured why not? So next up, went to the front of the store and I came across this PS4 controller. I also seen that they had um, one of these belts for people that's in like law enforcement or security, but they were asking like 30 bucks for both of those belts. So just a little too pricey for me, but that PS4 controller grabbed my attention. And then this vintage camera that I seen on the other side was only five bucks. So I had to check those out as well. And I almost dropped this, but I'm glad my reflexes is on point and came across this Konica Hexacon camera hexanon camera i guess it's called and with this one in particular only five bucks i seen comps were kind of all over the place some people had it priced really cheap some people had it priced high so i'll probably price mine on the higher end and then this ps4 controller didn't have a price on it but they gave it to me for four bucks and they're selling it already for 41.99 so very good find overall but with that camera i'm definitely gonna have to grab that one up as well so checked out a different thrift store and the first thing i came across in this goodwill was a pair of vans that had like some supreme i guess this was just like a custom job somebody did with these it grabbed my attention but of course you can tell this was like maybe a stencil or something like that but then came across this pair of new balance 990s in really good condition they were only asking 18 bucks for this which i'm kind of surprised because you know my thrift stores are usually super expensive but the thing with this 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 was a size 15 so this might take a while to sell but for that price had to grab those up and right next to those were a pair of foam posits i think these were like a size 6y and as you guys can see from the condition they were pretty beat up that's probably why they were only asking eight bucks for these but the thing with foam posits i've sold shoes in worse condition than this for at least 30 to 40 bucks so with these i'm going to try to clean these up make them look a little better because the flaws are the flaws are there but they're not that bad it's nothing too too serious so i'm gonna grab those up as well now definitely interested in this drop a comment let me know if you guys would have picked this up or if these are the types of stuff that you guys like to sell i usually don't even check through toys often but this one just grabbed my attention and it took me a while to actually make my decision up with these but i ended up passing on this only because it was so expensive and the thing is they were selling for right around 30 to 40 bucks but i know an item that large would cost a lot to ship so let me know if you guys would have still grabbed that up so checked out the jackets came across this vintage nike jacket and anytime i see a white tag nike jacket it's usually like late 80s early 90s so i know it's a vintage piece uh, but this one was just a little too simple um had some decent color blocking but nothing too crazy and as you guys can see it was missing a button and there was a stain on there so for those reasons i ended up passing on it if this one had like a really big spell out or maybe a really big check with the stain and the missing button, I would have still grabbed it up. But since it was so simple, I ended up passing on it. Next came across this Microsoft ergonomic keyboard and I sell a ton of these. Anytime I find them, I usually always grab it up. But this one just had a lot of wear on it. A lot of the keys were just rubbed off. Somebody probably had that keyboard for years. So I usually would have grabbed these up. But in this condition, I just didn't feel comfortable grabbing that one up because I just figured somebody would, you know, probably just it'll probably take a very long time to sell. So ended up passing on that next came across this starter jacket and this is one of the things why i love living in arizona mainly because i come across so much really good sports team stuff like you guys seen earlier the cardinals jacket and now this starter uh, phoenix suns jacket these are selling for right around 50 to 60 bucks might take a while especially since you know people aren't going to games and stuff like that right now but I'm definitely gonna have to grab that one up as well and here is another interesting find came across this pair of merrill hiking boots that's in pretty good condition just gotta wipe them down but i 
as you guys can see it's missing the heel loops on the back and since they were only asking nine bucks for these i'm still gonna grab them up and i should be able to get at least 40 to 50 bucks for these in this in this condition once i clean them up um i'll just price it accordingly because you know it's missing those heel loops on the back next up we got a really good find here's a pair of air max 90s in this black and almost 3m gold colorway which is really dope in my opinion but first let me just show you guys how i check the comps for ebay listings now the comps are simply just the comparative sold listings and the first thing what you're going to want to do is type in the style code into the ebay search bar and i circled it right here some nike sneakers start with a letter some may have numbers this one in particular is all numbers so first thing what you're going to want to do is put the numbers into the ebay search bar click on filters and make sure that completed and sold listings are both checked off then from there you're going to be able to see how many and how much certain items have sold for in the past 90 days now the thing with this listing in particular once i applied the filters there were no exact matches found and you're going to start seeing this a little more often now especially since ebay has implemented that change where listings are all good until cancelled meaning that a lot of these listings are going to be hidden so you're not going to be able to see exactly what they sold for in the last 90 days but just based on some of the active listings that other people had listed i priced mine for 109 bucks ended up getting a best offer of 91 and i charged nine dollars for shipping so for me as long as i was able to get at least 100 bucks for these shoes because as you all know if you sell shoes for over 100 bucks on ebay you don't get charged any fees so for me this was perfect so next was a pair of new balance fresh foams and fresh foam new balances usually do sell for some decent profit but for 35 bucks it just wasn't worth it to me but of course as you guys know i already grabbed up this pair of air max 90 so still want to check out some shoes came across this pair of nike shocks it looked like these were more of like a custom as you guys can see it said mustangs on the back and once i grabbed up both pairs it said north mustang so that's probably like an old high school or something like that but just based on the condition um they, they had some peeling in the front ended up putting those back now there are there's always some people that ask me if i pick up dress shoes um i don't find them often especially in good condition but this is a pair of allen Edmonds, pretty good shoe to be on the lookout for um this isn't in the best condition but since these are only nine bucks i should still be able to get at least anywhere between like 40 to 50 bucks for these i'm gonna have to do some work to these kind of get some of those creasings out but i should be able to get some decent profit from that so right before i got out of here came across this pair of fake nikes and this was just a terrible fake because even the nike check looked like a true religion sign in my opinion oh damn but they were asking 18 bucks for these so that was just outrageous and of course i didn't end up grabbing those up and the worst part is that they actually had two pairs of these in the store Bruh. and i think both were priced for 18 bucks so if you guys come across shoes that look similar to that don't even waste your time all right y'all that's all i have for today's video so if you guys enjoyed that one don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because it definitely helps the channel grow and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace for the winner, cause she felt like he was losing. Only for the winner, move just to keep from cooling. Like only for the winner, only for the winner, only for the winner. Boy, my heart is cold, and I'm too cool to sweat it. I should've never offered it. I'm tight and now I'm.